In problem 311b, we're taking the form 941 and filling in the information. So just wanted to go down through this and uh, as to where the information is coming from. So in the first part, typically the employer information is already available to you, as we see in here. The first piece, uh, we're asked number of employees, that information is given. For the wages, tips, and compensation, this is for our total, and then our, in, you know, our gross amount. Income tax that is withheld, this info is given to us. So moving on down the form, then we're working with our taxable for Social Security and for Medicare. Notice um, the amount for our wages paid, 89,352.18, is the same amount used up here in box two, in box five A, and in box five D. Because there are no employees that have capped out for Social Security. Now, in this section that we have, we're working with both the employer and employee. That's why it's point one two four, where it's both portions, the employee portion, the employer portion. The same here for our Medicare at uh, 0.029. That's the 1.45% times 2. This is just a calculation. Notice it would have to be rounded appropriately. If the significant digit, which would be um, 0.67 whatever, is fiber graded, round it up. If it's less than five, round it down. The same for our taxable portion for Medicare. Then this total here are these two items added together. These added onto here. So then the box number six, the total that we have, would be the income tax that was withheld plus this amount on line 5D. This quarter uh, on 7A, the quarter's fractions of cents, in my opinion, this is calculated based off of this is the tax that we've calculated that we owe at this point. So moving on down, how much has been sent in? So with this, um, it's this item right here that has to be what are the total taxes that have been paid in. And it sh tells us in here the total tax deposits for the quarter, 23,865.92. That's the amount that needs to go on this line. And um, earned income credit is no longer applicable, so that will always be a zero. So the total taxes after adjustments needs to be that amount for the deposit. It's a given which as we see in line 11 is where we're actually recording those deposits these two have to be the same so that's where starting in line 8 I'll enter that deposits amount it carries on to line 10 it carries on to line 11 it carries on down here to line 13 because we don't have adjustments uh, under a COBRA plan, not in this term. So then the fraction of the dollar, or fraction of the pennies, the cents, is the difference between line six versus line eight. Now on line six, it's 23,865.88. On line eight, 23,865.92. So the difference between those two is four cents. 
and that's what needs to be entered here on line 4A. And then uh, down here on 4D, typically we're not going to be working with uh, B and C. So as you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, that's number 11. Then we'll take a look at number 12, which has the second page of our Form 941.